Yo, what's happening? Kind's motherfucking podcast. Episode motherfucking 56. I'm saying 56 episodes in. Thank all y'all for rocking with me. All 56 episodes. I'm saying y'all are the true MVPs, man. Y'all gotta understand that. You know what I'm saying y'all the MVPs making this dream of mine come true. Thank all y'all for sharing. Thank everybody that I didn't talk to on the street randomly told you about my shit and you looked it up and subscribed. You know what I mean? Good looking. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all that. Homie, I just met at the gas station. He's a DJ. You know what I mean? Uh, good looking on you. You know what I'm saying? Hope you hit that follow button, subscribe button. You know what I mean? He gave me his card. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's in my jeans pocket. Otherwise, I'll shout him out. But um, I'm going to do that next one, though. But he's a DJ, though, here in Sacramento. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, episode 56, you know what I mean? We're going to talk about this UFC 264. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody heard about the shit, what happened to Connor. You know what I mean? Um, but it was a cool fight card, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't a bad fight card. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? UFC 264. Kinds Podcast. Welcome in. Is this your first time? Where the fuck you been? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 56 episodes in. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. 264 UFC. So first up on the fight court, we had Sean O'Malley versus Chris Motino. I think that's how you say the last name. I'm saying uh, uh, I heard Chris took the fight at like the last second, you know what I mean? And man, he went in there. I mean, you can kind of tell he didn't have a game plan for Sean because Sean was hitting him with a million motherfucking combos. I'm talking catching this nigga with straights, jabs, one tools, hooks, uppercuts, all the shit. You know what I'm saying? He was catching them with everything, you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know. Chris never had an answer for him. You know what I'm saying? But he kept walking at him, though, like a straight zombie. I don't know. This shit was weird. Like, he was eating punches and still walking towards Sean. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what that shit was about. You know what I mean? I don't know. I was like, he got to be on dope or something or cocaine or something. Because, I mean, he just was coming at him still. <coughs> feel me? Eating shots, you know what I'm saying? And he still kept walking at that nigga. Oh no, that shit was I ain't never seen nobody but the zombie and the Korean zombie do that shit. I mean, he was face was all rearranged, swollen, lips was busted, bleeding, nose bleeding, eyes cut, like everything, man. Everything. You know what I'm saying, and then Sean O'Malley finally, you know what I'm saying, knocked him out in um like the beginning of the third round. You know what I mean? Just Went in there and get, let his hands fly. You know what I'm saying? Gave him multiple combos. Hit him with one tools. Hit him with hooks, jabs. Then he hit him with an uppercut. And he ate every last one of them. He didn't block nothing. So Arv Dean jumped in and was like, now at first I was like, you know, why are you stopping it? Let these niggas fight. He's been eating punches all around, all fight. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can't just let a motherfucker get beat the fuck up, whether he taking it or not. Like, you got to protect the fighters. They got pride. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to, as a ref, you got to protect that fighter. And he felt that nigga was in danger. You know what I mean? He was eating punches. I mean, big punches, not no little baby jabs. He was eating big punches. You know what I'm saying? Dope fight, though. It was very entertaining. Sean O'Malley, you know what I'm saying? Put him on him. You know what I mean? But we all know Sean O'Malley got them hands, fast hands, knockout power. You know what I mean? His weight class that small. I don't know if anybody's fucking with him. Um, but yeah, that was a cool fight for especially for the first fight. That's how they sparked it off. You know what I'm saying? That's how they just went into UFC 264. You feel me? Sean O'Malley, boom, banging him out. Uh, next fight we had was Irene Aldana and Yana Kuniskaya. I never heard of these two females, but uh, Irene is pretty cool. Yana's all right. Irene, she's uh, a Mexican fighter. I think she's the first female Mexican fighter to uh, to be climbing the charts or something like that. Um, but yeah, she set some type of boundaries for her country by, um, for her country Saturday, last Saturday. Um, but she beat Yana, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
pretty cool fight. Yana was, you know, she was one of them. Hey, 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 hey. Every time she hit, you know, she hollering and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but she didn't, I don't know. She didn't really have a skill set. I mean, she was throwing hooks, jabs. She was grabbing, trying to get the plum around her neck, trying to knee her, which was cool. But she just, it just, it just, the skill just, you know, it wasn't there and you could see it. You know what I'm saying? She kept trying to go for the grab, leaving herself open. You know, she's walking forward like this, trying to grab her, you know. And I'm, I said, like, yo, man, she going to. You feel me? She gonna eat some shots. That's dangerous coming at her with no guard like that. Like these is world class fucking fighters, and and you know she walked at her with her hands out trying to grab. And you feel me? Irene caught her with a nice little one two, bink bink, put her down. You know what I'm saying? And then went on the ground and finished her. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. I think that was in what first round? Yeah, first round. You know what I'm saying the end of the first round. Word. That's what that was. You know what I mean? But shout out to Irene Aldana. You know, she definitely did that. You know what I mean? Yana just wasn't ready. Russian chick, she just wasn't ready. That's about as much as I can say about that. You know what I mean? She just wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, the next fight we have is a dude named Ty Tuivasa. You know what I mean? Big real chubby dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, and then Greg Hardy. That's the ex uh, NFL dude that he played for the Panthers. I've seen him fight before. You know what I mean? Weird dude, big dude. You know what I'm saying? Tats and shit. You know, weird dude. You know what I mean? Um, and then y'all gonna see. You know, so I'm gonna put these clips in here. Y'all gonna see this shit. You know what I mean? But you know, um, yeah, man, weird dude, big dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the first fight I seen he knocked the dude out. You know what I mean? But this fight he definitely didn't knock the dude out. He got knocked out. Um, so you know what I'm saying? By this dude named Ty Tuivasa. So. Dude is a goofy dude, funny dude, you know, you can tell you real goofy. Nigga was drinking beer out of motherfucking shoes and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's like his little his little trademark, you feel me? Drinking the beer, grab a motherfucking shoe, pour the beer in it, chug that shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> real trade, that's his trademark. She was walking down at 3-1, motherfuckers was handing him shoes, you know what I'm saying? He was, they was pouring beer into it, he was drinking it out and shit, like, that shit, wow, man, you feel me? But... Yeah, he a real party animal type nigga, but he knocked out Greg Hardy, caught him with an overhand right. Greg Hardy went down and he went to finish him, you know what I'm saying? Uh that was first round. Um yeah, shit was crazy. One of them poured beer in the shoe and then poured Dustin Poirier's hot sauce in it with it. And he drank that shit and was spitting that shit out like <laughs> yeah, I'm um, not that dude crazy, man. He crazy one of the party animal type niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, gut and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he had bombs. He knocked, he knocked Hardy big ass out. You know what I mean? That nice little overhand. You know what I'm saying? Which was pretty dope. Uh, pretty entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Um, not to mind the first round. And then next we had Gilbert Burns, Brazilian dude, versus uh, Stephen, the Wonder Boy Thompson. I ain't never heard of these dudes either, really. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wonder Boy Thompson was cool, though. You know what I'm saying? He's the first one to come on. He got that you know, classic style, kind of like Leoto, Cheetah, you know what I'm saying? The karate shit, you know, he got half man stance, you know what I mean? Horse stance, legs is out, you know, he, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Real, real by the book type shit, you know what I'm saying? It was dope, though. It was dope to see, you know what I mean? But um, Gilbert did his thing, though. Uh, They went all three rounds, all four rounds, came to the decision. Uh, But Gilbert had some takedowns, and when he got on top, um, Wonder Boy just wasn't really ready for the ground and pound. But Wonder Boy is somebody who don't really get taken down. You know what I'm saying? Apparently his defense, from what I was hearing, is superb. You know what I'm saying? So that's, you know what I mean? He got taken down. Apparently he don't really get taken down. One of them type of dudes. You know what I mean? Defense is superb. Uh, He's a martial arts master, karate master. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? But uh, he got took down. Gilbert Burns gave him some of that Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Wonder Boy just wasn't really ready for that shit, you know what I mean? But he did a good job, though. Uh, I tell Wonder Boy's a veteran. Like I said, he's an OG. I ain't never really seen him fight too much. But um, he was an OG, though. But he did his thing, though. There's a lot of skill was shown. Um, it went on three rounds. Uh, a lot of jiu-jitsu skills. A lot of shooting skills was shown. A lot of karate skills. Um, a lot of defense, a lot of head movement was being done. It was a good fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but Gilbert Burns got the best 
uh, total overall. So he was able to win that decision. You know what I mean? Shout out to Gilbert Burns. You know what I'm saying? I and mean, like I said, as I'm talking about each fight, y'all going to see in the clips. You know what I mean? The little finishers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then the main event, Connor and Dustin Poirier. You know what I'm saying? Dustin Poirier, Connor McGregor had a bad fuel, bad beef, bad blood, everything, talking a whole bunch of shit up until this fight. Um, you know, just a whole bunch of yippity yap yapping. And, you know, Connor McGregor started saying shit like, I'm going to kill you and doing gun motions to his head to him and all that type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dustin took that shit kind of to heart. You know what I mean? Dustin was a lot of times in the press conference, he was saying he ain't really feeling this part of the fight game as far as talking to motherfuckers and press conference and shit. Like, he one of dudes just want to go out there and scrap. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like um, Nate Diaz. You know what I mean? Just, you know, introduce me, tell me to come to that ring. That's it. I don't give a fuck about the politics or talking to press or hyping fights up. Like, he ain't into that. So, you know what I'm saying? He just learned, he said he was learning to block out all the noise, especially this day, third fight. So, you know, Connor didn't talk to all the shit in each press conference and each time. So this time he just wasn't really feeling that. He blocked all that shit out. You know what I mean? And he came out real focused. You can tell. Uh, Connor looked good for a minute, too. He came out focused. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to get back to his MMA shit instead of just shooting. You know, he was hitting him with the leg kick a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um it was hitting them with a lot of more movements, you know what I mean? Moving moving around, not just trying to stand in the tire and box with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it was a good fight, you know what I mean? Um, Poirier got Connor down, gave him a couple elbows and shit, grounded, pounded the shit out of him to show. Um, you know, but then, man, I think, what was it, the second round, beginning of the second round? Um, they went, they both threw it straight. And they both, it was the end of the first round, must have been. So they both threw it straight. They both kind of connected. And then when Connor went to step back, he misstepped and fucking broke his tibia. You know what I'm saying? Stepped on his ankle. As you can see, he stepped on his, his tibia was touching the ground. His foot was totally bent off to the side. You know what I'm saying? Shit looked crazy as fuck, as you're going to see. Shit look wild. Um, that shit look crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he gonna be able to come back from that kind of shit. I said if Connor lose this shit, man, he should retire, man. That's it for him, man. He should be gone. These fighters, man, they be having all that pride in their head, and they be so loving the fight and wanting to fight, and then they fighting, and then it just don't be there for him, yo. You know what I'm saying? It just don't be there for him. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Yeah, he broke his tibia. I don't even know if he's going to come back from this for real. You know what I'm saying? That's a heavy, that's a big injury, you know what I mean, for the fight game. You know what I'm saying? The people that came back from it, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, that shit crazy, though. That shit looked crazy. It's a mean, ugly injury. Um, then when Connor was sitting down, he was talking all the shit, was talking about Poirier's wife DM'd him and shit and calling her a hoe. Like, just wild shit, man. You know what I mean? And Poirier, Poirier in the post fight was just like, man, that's, that's scumbag shit. He's a scumbag. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'll be getting home to his family. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to sit up here and bad mouth him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just calling a piece of shit and karma's karma. You know what I mean? That type of shit come back on you. Like, he was like, he was wishing me dead. You know what I'm saying? Talk about my wife and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't, he was like, you just don't say that type of shit. It's one thing to talk shit and hide the fight up, but telling me you're going to kill me and all this and that. You know what I mean? Dustin Poirier wasn't with that shit. Um, you know, Connor was definitely frustrated. I kind of felt bad for Connor. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been in the fight game. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you prepare for one dude, you know, six, seven, eight weeks, and you prepare and training every day for your hardest. And then you come out there and you get a mistake or you get an injury like that. That could end your whole shit. I mean, you can just see the frustration on Connor's face. Like, it was bad for him. Like, he knew it was bad for him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Shout out to Connor, though. He done did his thing um, in the UFC thing. We all done seen him knock niggas out. We all done seen his reign. We all done seen him climb to the top. We all done seen all that. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Connor. Shout out to Dustin, too. You know what I mean? Dustin did his thing. Um, 
that was the tiebreaker as far as they third. I was they third one. It was one and one. Uh, now Dustin is two and one. Um, so I don't know if Connor gonna come back. I don't know. Is he gonna come back? I don't know. Broken tibia. That's a big injury for the fight game. You know what I'm saying? You need that. You need that for MMA. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. UFC 264. I wasn't even going to order it at first, but I'm sure he'll fucked around and it. Um, we got another one coming up next month. I think August 7th or something. Uh, Derek Lewis is fighting some dude named Gaines. I don't know, but I think Amanda Nunez is on that card, too. I might fuck around and get that one, too. Um, but, yeah, UFC 264. Episode 56. Look out for episode 57 coming. Hopefully to have featured guests on there. Um, if we can all get this time right. But uh yeah, UFC 264, episode 56, kind of podcast, constant motherfucking content. Every week new content. You know what I'm saying every week new content. As soon as you look at my shit and it says last post a week ago, you know some new content is coming. Within the next 48 hours to 72. <laughs> you feel me? For sure. After you see that one week, some content is on its way. You know what I mean? Guarantee that it's just this editing shit, working and doing a whole lot. And, you know, dealing with home issues and issues outside the home and issues everywhere. You know, shit. In the midst of all that, I'm still running this podcast thing. You know what I'm saying? So just bear with me. It might not be exactly a week. But it's definitely every week, you know what I mean? New, fresh content, you know what I'm saying? UFC 264, episode 50, motherfucking six. You know what I'm saying? Kind's podcast, constant motherfucking content. You feel me? Yeah.